Collecting customer feedback on your website or app is as easy as click, select, draw, and comment, followed by a few simple steps to complete the process and click send feedback. You'll be receiving fast visual feedback in no time. Hello and welcome to our Userback demo. Userback is a customer feedback solution that lets you collect and manage visual feedback from websites and applications using video and annotated screenshots. Userback is built for agencies, software companies, designers, and developers. Userback is extremely easy to set up and will save you time by managing feedback for all of your projects in one place. Userback is loved today by over 20,000 teams who use visual feedback to build better websites and applications whilst ultimately improving experiences for their customers. Let's jump in and show you how it works. Now that we're in our Userback account, let's talk about that extremely fast setup. There's two ways to get started with Userback, with the first being installing a browser extension. This is available for Chrome, Firefox, and Edge. And there's a simple three-step process to get started installing the extension. And from there, you will be able to collect feedback on any website directly into your Userback account. And if you're looking to install Userback on your website or your application, all you'll need to do is head to the widget menu, followed by opening the widget code card and copying the following JavaScript code into the opening head tag on every page that you wish to collect feedback on. Once you have done that and configured your widget, you will be able to receive feedback from any web visitor visiting the page who has access to viewing the user back feedback widget. Now the feedback widget is very customizable and one by one go through each of the cards on the widget menu, starting with the appearance. Now this will give you customization controls over the widget button itself, the type of button that you're placing on your website or application, the icon that you're choosing to use, on the button itself, some color control, you'll have the ability to upload a logo onto the widget form and also change the text on the widget button itself. Next, we have the feedback selection. Now, this will give you control over the type of feedback that you're looking to collect from your customers or your users. Now, this is a simple toggle on and off. So whether or not you're looking to collect feedback with screenshots and annotations, screen recording, just general feedback, the ability to view other feedback that's been collected on your project, and also adding a contact us link into the widget itself. Once you have completed the annotation or video recording, your users can be presented with a feedback form. And this is very easy to set up and configure. Again, simple toggles to include different fields onto your final feedback form. So uh, the categories that can be selected uh, from the drop down, which you can completely customize yourself, uh, the priority of the feedback that's been submitted, whether or not you'd like to be able to assign the feedback to another user inside your user back account. Finally, the ability to add attachments to the feedback. Some things need to be said in more words, and this is ideal for when you're attaching documents with some change requests or content that needs to be updated with the feedback. For those owners of software applications, we also collect console logs and event tracking. So when you're doing bug reporting using Userback, you'll always have the context that you need to resolve bugs faster. Let's see what Userback looks like on a website and capture some feedback. Here we have a demonstration page where the Userback widget is set up to display over here on the right hand side of the page and clicking the feedback button will be presented with the options that we've just configured in the widget itself. So we have three types of feedback that we're collecting from our users. One is giving feedback with screenshots and annotations, capturing video with screen recording and general feedback. We'll start by drawing on the screen. 
clicking the draw on the screen button will load the annotation tools where the user can simply click and drag to draw a box. They can select from various annotation tools such as pen, line, arrows to specifically point at items they'd like to highlight and a block out tool to hide any sensitive information they'd like to hide. Additionally, pinned comments can be added by selecting the comment tool or simply clicking with a single action. Now that we've added four comments to the page, we'll simply click next and we'll complete the feedback form. Users can add multiple screenshots by simply clicking the plus button on the final form. Clicking send feedback will instantly send that feedback, the screenshot with annotations and all of the comments directly into your user back account. Now, the last thing I'd like to show you on this demonstration page is the capture video option. So when clicking the capture video option, we'll be presented with a recording tool on the bottom left hand side of the screen where we have options to turn off the microphone and start recording. So by clicking start recording, we'll have the option to select either our entire screen application window or Chrome tab. I'm selecting my screen. And now with the countdown, we are ready to begin recording our screen. So Userback is currently capturing the screen and the page we're on. We can talk about things such as sign up to our newsletter needs to be changed to different text. We can scroll, we can point at items. And when we're ready to complete our video screen recording, we simply click the stop button on the bottom left hand side. Once we've clicked stop, we're presented with the final form where we can again, fill that out and send that feedback. The process is very fast to upload the feedback and send it to your user back account. So it will be no hindrance to your users. It's a very a fun and easy way to collect feedback from your customers and your users. Now that we've collected two pieces of feedback, one screenshot and one video, let's show you what it looks like. So I'm now in the feedback menu and we can see the two pieces of feedback that we've collected. First, we have the screenshot with annotation, and second, we have the video feedback. Now, I'm going to view the feedback of the screenshot, and immediately you can see the feedback here with all of the pinned comments. Uh, it's very easy to now manage and collaborate with the reporter. So I can come in here, I can assign this ticket to someone in my user back account. I can change the priority of this feedback. I can also set different workflows for this feedback. So by marking it in progress, uh, once that's completed, we can simply click the tick to resolve. I can collaborate with the reporter and ask questions about, uh, can they please provide more context or exactly what they need to have changed. Uh, and this is a great way to collaborate and really move this feedback along through the workflow that you have to get things done faster and get things resolved quicker and save you time in the process. No more spreadsheets to, to manage feedback or phone calls or email. We also receive some additional session info of the feedback reporter, such as their system that they're using, the browser, the, the window size and resolution that they have. Uh, we can also come in here and categorize the feedback. So uh, this is a, a task for the changes that need to happen, for example. Feedback can also be shared and be made publicly available. So you can share it with your team and you can ask them to chime in on the feedback and the comments that have been made by the reporter. Let's jump in and have a look at the video feedback. Straight away, you'll see the page that we were on when we recorded the video and we can play through the videos. So this will show us exactly what we did and we can see the, the comments. And if there was audio with this, we would also hear what the reporter was talking about and what they wanted changed or the thoughts they had around something. Similar to the screenshot feedback, you can come into a video and pause it at a specific point in time add comments as a bookmark so you know exactly what was going on at that point in the video. And it may simply be just a note of what the user was saying and the importance of what it was. You still receive all of the same management controls over this feedback as you do with any other feedback you're receiving in your account, as well as some basic session information. One of the best ways to 
collaborate with your team and ensure everyone has access to the feedback and is able to log in and join in on the conversation is by adding your team. And this can be done easily through the people menu where you'll have the ability to invite your team as admins, collaborators, or clients and even give them specific access to the projects that you have set up within your user back account. Now you can invite multiple recipients by simply separating each recipient with a comma. If you're looking to create even more efficiencies within your team and the feedback coming in, then we highly recommend heading to the integrations menu and setting up some integration, whether that's with your notification tools such as Slack or Microsoft Teams, or even your project management tools such as Jira or Basecamp, Asana, ClickUp. There is an integration here for most organizations. And if it's not listed in here, then we do have a connection with Zapier. Additionally, for those who are looking for something more advanced, we do also offer webhooks where you can create your own custom integrations with the tools that you're using. And that's all we have time for today for our demonstration of UserBack. We look forward to seeing you online and helping you save time and create better web experiences for your customers with screenshots and annotated feedback with UserBack.